Keith, uh, in generations from now, will we be learning about gymonomics? Oh, I thought albonomics was bad, but now you've got gymbonomics. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the people at Oxford and Cambridge and MIT and everywhere else, get out your textbooks and set them on fire because they're all wrong. Uh, Mr Chalmers is in town, a bloke who's never run a business, who's never been uh, actually employed by anyone other than the union and the taxpayer, uh, who's never had to pay wages, put his own hard-earned on the table. Uh, he's now going to rewrite capitalism. Uh, I mean, this, this is just... Uh, it, it is incredible. I don't remember seeing this anywhere during the election campaign. Uh, and we now have a concept being put forward, and, and I'll, I'll sort of pull it right down. Uh, you don't need to read the 6,000-word treatise. What he's going to do... He's going to take wealth from the people who have earned it to give to people that want it. Uh, it is Socialism 101. It is bad for our country. It's bad for the economy. Uh, and I can't believe that the business community would let him get away with it. Rose, values-based capitalism, is this the government version of the ESG movement that's been moving around through the stock market for the past five years? I think it's great that we have a treasurer who has ideas and is prepared to actually put some pen to paper and They're put it out there ones. and, you know, defend his record, put some stuff on the table. I mean, I feel like the last treasurer was pretty thoughtful as well and maybe if they had listened to him a bit more, the last government wouldn't have gotten so much strife. But I love, actually, that we have politicians who have ideas and are prepared to take a little bit of time exploring them as opposed to just sound bites and headlines, to actually sit down and think and write and, and have a discussion and a debate. I mean, I do think that our economic system isn't working so great right now. I think wages are flat, inflation's high. I think we're an increasingly unequal society. And if Jim is attempting to have a thoughtful approach to that and lay it all out there, there's no secrets here. He's setting out his agenda and... It's a democracy. We'll have a couple of years to test out his ideas. But if people don't like him, absolutely there'll be an opportunity for them to do something about yeah, it. But coming from Ro the Rose, 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 what, why, would, Michael, we, why yes. would we think Jim Chalmers... Why would we think Jimmy Chalmers would have any idea what he's doing? As Keith said, this um, bloke's never had a job in the private sector. Albo's never had a job in the private sector. Most of the Cabinet have never had a job in the private sector. They've never invested their own money. They've never taken risk. How do you evaluate risk if, in, in an economic sense if you've never run a business? All those farmers and small business people, tens of thousands of them watching this tonight, that understand risk, right? Mortgaging your house, getting a loan, um, getting, getting paid, keeping your business afloat, so, you know, understanding economic risk. Jim's never had a job. I mean, he does have uh, a PhD. Well, he's risked a single dollar. So... What? In Paul Keating. In academia. He's got a That's doctorate the problem. in Paul Keating. I, I... But what about... What about uh, he's got a doctorate is... in Paul Keating. But I'll tell you what, Paul. Paul, Paul Keating Paul Keating would be... Would, would read that thing tomorrow and, 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 and you know, he, he, he'd, he'd, he'd be choking on a French clock. <laughs> he'd read that nonsense tomorrow and, he, and he'd think, he'd think my, right. my, my PhD student has gone nuts. Well, he can he's get on the phone nuts. and tell Kitty Dominic Perrottet what that to nonsense. do because he's also putting it into practice right now with some of this buy now, pay later <laughs> oh. tax stuff that's around.